Oh, it was such an amazing just learning experience. I mean, our cast and crew was amazing, and I learned. I took so much away from the experience, and I will continue to, um, you know, hold that in, and I hope my acting career. She's awesome. She was so good for someone who's. This really was her first big kind of, yeah. you know, credit. Um, the reason I did the movie was because of her. I saw her audition tape, and that's when I agreed to finally do the movie. The difference is for me, the, I think the hard part is uh, showing fear. I, I think, uh, you know, when someone turns the camera on and says, you're really scared right now, for some reason that doesn't come easy for me because I'm probably so manly and unafraid. <laughs> um, but that was, I think, the hardest part. But then again, you know, you're working opposite such great actors. I mean, you know, Natasha and Madison and Kira and Modest, everybody was so kind of great in, in, in that place. And, and our director, Oleg Ornadal, is one of the most talented guys in the world when it comes to kind of creating this genre of, of this world. Yeah, I mean, what was yeah. available, probably the same stuff that, that you know, you've seen, um, you know, sent the original article with the, the link to the, the, where it started with eBay, and then you kind of delve deeper into it and see where Divic was originated from and when, and, um, and it's been around for a long time, but certainly we did the research that is available to anybody, mm -hmm. um, you know, and that's a, that's a scary story. The, the true story is, is frightening. Um, uh, we were talking earlier about uh, the the guy that owned the box when we were shooting this, I have no idea if he still owns it, but he wanted to bring the box to Vancouver to the set. And, you know, okay. we, no were, we were all like, no way. You know, we're not going to, why tempt fate? Yeah. You know? Oh, for sure it was the moth. The moths, you know, I had to, they just dumped buckets and buckets of moths all over me. And these were like, these were like wolf moths. They were like this big. And they were just crawling in my pajamas and in my hair. And it was... It wasn't very pleasant in the moment, but after you know we were all done, I was like, yeah, that was a really cool experience. That, that was fun. Let's see it again. But um, in the moment, it wasn't that fun. You was, were a champ. It was, you I mean. You never would have known that she was freaked out. Like. I, was, I was trying to keep cool on the outside, but I was really freaking out on the inside. My, there was two scenes that we did. One was the actual exorcism. Um, that uh, the way we shot it, the way Ole shot it, we were gonna do like, a, you know, it's all in segments. We were gonna shoot yeah. the scene in segments and we started shooting, it was probably gonna be, maybe we'd roll for like 30 seconds um, mm -hmm. to get a piece of it. And we ended up rolling for about seven minutes. <laughs> um, no one said cut and the stuff that happened and it's what we use, it's, it's oh, mostly all there. It's really, we didn't yeah. have to shoot anything else. It was so intense and crazy what happened in the course of that scene um, that just sort of organically happened. And as an actor, that that is so rare to have those kind of moments. And I remember looking at Kira um, and just our eyes were both like, I mean, we were, there was tears and crying and craziness and screaming and we just looked at each other and just like, what the hell just happened? Yeah.